Friends, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy E Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I'm so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. Guys, it is time for our May budget, which <clears throat> I don't know how that's possible, but let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna pop up here. May, um, and we are gonna do our goals and to-dos. Um, so goals, we're gonna start with books. This time, two books. I've been killing that game, and I'm on well on good track to finish all my books because I have like four books on pre-order that, yeah, we're just not going to talk about that. Um, I am going to try and get back into walking again. We are just going to do 15 miles. <clears throat> we have quite a bit going on, and my husband's job's about to change locations again. So that is going to just get all kinds of funky funky. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And then <clears throat> I'm going to start tracking my water. I want to start drinking like at least 80 ounces of water a day because I know I am dehydrated on one. Anyway, so um, to do's, we still need to reorganize um, my desk. It is a disaster, and I feel like it's only gotten worse. Um, the other thing is, I know I put on my last month's goals or to do to go through the kids' clothes, and I think I kind of did that, but um, I want to reorganize their room. Oh, the tiny assistant expects to be paid. Hold on. <clears throat> there you go. Go watch Bluey. Um, reorganize upstairs because we did sell our crib um, to some friends who are having twins and so one of our um, good friends is giving was giving their crib to this um, their cousins and so we sold it ours to them um, so I now want to reorganize our upstairs um, to get like all the kids clothes upstairs um, and then the other thing that's on the to-do list potty training pray for me <laughs> Pray, pray. Um, notes, it's my sister's birthday. <clears throat> and this month. And then we also have Claire's friend. We have Blake's birthday. And that's a camping trip coming up. We are going um, to our friend's property in a few hours away. So for Memorial Day weekend, it should be fun. So that is... All she wrote for this side of things. We're keeping our to-dos <laughs> minimal because these are going to be difficult <laughs> to say the very least. Okay, let's jump into the budget now. Let me zoom y'all in. Okay, so the great thing about May is May is a magic month for us. So hold on, I got to look at my actual like calendar. Okay, hold on. Okay, so... 2, 9, 16, 23, 30. Okay. Okay, so as I said, May is a magic month for us, which is exciting. We get five paychecks. Um, that said, we're not, um, we're going to budget obviously low, but because the job site's going to be changing, there is a high possibility of increased income for at least the last two weeks of checks, which is going to be great. So, um, this the, it, our closeout is going to be vastly different from our budget. So just know that there are things that will transpire this month. At least that's what we've been told. It's kind of it's been wild to say the very least. Okay, so we're going to do fourteen hundred for this one. Because I think he took a little bit of time off. Um, fourteen ten here. We'll do fourteen ten here, and then here we're gonna. I'm hesitant to budget it, but they've said that he's gonna go, so we're gonna do nineteen hundred here and nineteen hundred here. Because that when he's out of town, that's roughly about what it should be, um, and he hasn't worked one of those weeks in. I don't even know how long it's been a while. So that's, we're just going to, we're going to guess off of this and just see how the cookie crumbles this month. Mm-hmm. 
So let's add that up and see what it gives us. Okay, so even still, because it's a magic month, we obviously are going to be working with more income. But if we have the increased, we're looking at $8,020 for the month, which is phenomenal. That's exciting. Um, real quick, let me write in all of our bills and we'll be right back. Okay, we took a little time. We just filled it all out. I should do that ahead of time, but I didn't. So you got to see me do it. So um, our budget has not changed much. 600 for we're driving trucks. So just fair warning. It's going to probably be loud. 600 for rent. Um, our power bill has gone down, so we are budgeting um, 175 for this, which um, it actually will come in cheaper than that. Insurance is still 180 um, my goal is over the summer to hopefully get something paid off so that when our insurance inevitably goes up, we'll be good to go. Car is three thirty, truck is three seventy, campers two hundred, dues are fifty, garbage is forty, Starlink one fifty. Um, Amazon Prime, 15, 17 for Netflix, Canva's 13, these are rounded up, um, 12 for Apple Music, which I always give my husband a hard time about Apple Music because it drives me crazy that he has to have it, but he was able when we drove up to my parents last to download right away the new Cody Johnson, um, album the leather album which if you watched my vlog yesterday you would have seen we went to his concert last friday for date night and i was like he played a ton of his new songs and i was like oh, can you can you play that while we drive because i want to listen to them like actually listen to them um so as much as i complain it did come in handy so and then 21 for hulu so let's add these up and see how the cookie crumbles beautiful Twenty one seventy seven. And the goal is right now we put aside 550 every um, week for 2200. So we're going to be under budget is the goal there. And then we're going to take that away from our 8020. And that leaves us with 5,843 to play with. All right. So our STCU card. We just pay, we're going to have just paid off a portion of the balance transfer. Um, so I think we're going to keep the $100 a week. So we're going to just put $500 for this because um, there are five weeks. So we're just going to keep up $100 a week. Um, our city card, this one I want to end up doing, let's see here, $250, $1250. I'd love to do $1500. We'll see if we can make that happen. And then the other thing is, is, if we can get this one, we need thirteen hundred to pay off after we make our monthly payment. We'll need roughly it'll be less than this, but about thirteen hundred to pay off the camper. Oh, might help if I'm actually in frame. Apologies, guys. So that's what I'm thinking there. So let's add that up. <clears throat> so thirty-three hundred. Now this is a stretch goal, and this is only given the fact of if we have an increase in pay. If we don't have an increase in pay, we ain't, we're not going to do it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, so we have 25.43 left. Which honestly is still a lot in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so... Now we're going to move over to our sinking funds. Actually, let's jump down here to our cash envelopes because those ones are a little bit easier. They stay pretty much the same. Groceries, we are going to go back up to 75 a week because if you guys watched my April meal plan Mondays, it was rough, but we did it. So we're going to look at 375 for groceries this week or this month. 
Um, and then I am going to be doing a Costco haul. Um, so for anyone that might be new here, my Costco budget is different because we pay towards our Costco city card and then we um, use that to get the cash back rewards on that. So that is why this grocery budget looks so small is because I do bulk shopping usually every six weeks. Right now we're actually at eight weeks and I can tell <laughs> my pantry. Well, then that was kind of the goal in April is to do a pantry challenge and only spend $50 a week on fresh things or things that we need or that we've used up. Um, and we done did the thing. So we definitely need a Costco haul and that's where I'm headed this weekend. Um, Cody's going to get one. Oh no, no, no. It'll be 150 because he gets, um, $30 a week. Now let's look at the calendar. Let me zoom you out really quick. Take a peeky at my calendar because that's going to tell me when I need coffee and lunch. So we've got one, let's see, two, three, and three. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So we're going to need coffee at least three times. Um, and then one of those times we're going to do fancy drinks. So I would usually do like 15. We're going to say 40 for coffee this, this, this month. Um, hopefully I don't spend that much. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a gift card for Mother's Day. My mom likes to give us gift cards to the, our local coffee shops. So that's the hope. And then eat out. I'm going to put a hundred dollars here because we have some moments where we're going to be going um and like we're going we have a hair appointment the kids and i have hair appointment this month um there's a couple times where I, like my nail appointments because it's five week month fall i get two this month um there is another oh we'll do a treat after um for the after school the last day of school so it, there's just some special things going on and because we do seem to have it, the hope is is that we're gonna have the wiggle room in the budget so let's add all this up okay 665 so let's take that away from the okay so that leaves us 1878 for our sinking funds which I think is totally doable um, let's start with the things we know are for certain so let me zoom you guys back in um, holidays will get 250 that is $50 a week we're gonna keep that up um, we almost have all of our holidays funded through the end of the year which is just you know considering where I started by putting two and three dollars a week in there uh, about a year ago to now being able to put $50 a week and having holidays like fully funded with a budget just it's amazing um, nails will be 100 for the month um, that's $20 a week wax will be $50 that's $10 a week and then we're gonna go real quick like um, we're still gonna plan on doing so this one will end up being a thousand dollars to savings um, long-term savings because we're gonna do two hundred dollars a week again one thing that is not listed is three to six months because we are gonna put that on pause however if my husband does go to working in this other union where he gets paid more we will end up adding to that um, to cover our health and welfare um, for anyone new who might not have seen that in my previous that's probably been a not quite six a few months ago um, we were having to put aside a certain amount to our health and welfare because the union he was working in didn't pay enough to cover it so his company gave us a portion to cover it but it was in his paycheck so we had to set that aside yeah it got messy it's just messy it's messy okay family fun um we did we have spent some money from here so i think we will start adding to it again we're going to put 25 for the month so five dollars a week clothing's the same five dollars a week date night we had amazing date night if you watched our video yesterday um my video yesterday it was a kind of a vlog style um the tacos were brisket tacos oh bit gringo 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 biscuit brisket tacos they were so good so good um so date night we're gonna start putting five dollars in um we don't have anything scheduled but it's something we probably need to prioritize a little bit more so um and then pets will be at 150 just because it's a five week uh, month so thirty dollars a week um, chickens, we're just going to slow them down to $25 for the month, so $5. Um, 
they have quite a bit in there. We don't at the moment need to buy anything. Um, so we're going to call that good. Garden, I'm also going to slow down. Instead of 10, we're just going to do five gifts. The same thing, $5 a week. Anniversary, we're keeping at the $5 a week. That's pretty easy, cut and dry. End of the world usually gets whatever's left over. And then birthdays, I think we're going to try and stuff birthdays. We did have to spend some money from there. Um, I bought my sister a gift. Uh, for her birthday so I spent a little bit of money from there so I want to add that back in um, that's a maybe we'll see how things go so let's see what this adds up to and what we have left to play with okay so that adds totals 1575 if we take that from the or 1750 holy smokes <laughs> oh sometimes i tell you okay so we're gonna say that end of the world is gonna get eight dollars and then that challenges is gonna roughly get only about 120 um truth be told i think challenges will end up with more it usually does obviously because <coughs> because we take our rollover and everything too but let's just do a quick double check ad and see how we're panning out here Okay, so let's do one more total tally down here in the bottom. Make sure it all adds up, and then we're going to call it good for the, for the month of May and see how things pan out. Alrighty, friends, that is a zero-based budget. Let me zoom y'all out. This is, again, so monthly budgets for us are not hard and fast. They are just a um, guideline, a kind of a goal setting for what we want to do, not necessarily what we will do. But the only things that are like absolutely happen is our bills. Um, and these are, we are a month ahead on these. So I already have the money for our May bills set aside in our bills uh, account. And I already know we have plenty to cover that. So that's great. Um, the rest of it, we are not a month ahead on. Eventually we will get there. But for the most part, I'm feeling like we're looking really good. Um, we got a lot of progress that we hopefully will get to make. Because we're hopefully going to have that increase in pay. Um, the rumor is that we may even see some overtime hours. Which would be um, even better for debt for sinking funds, all the things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this month's May budget with me. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out, hit that subscribe button. And friends, as always, until next time, remember to spread kindness like glitter. Bye, guys.